Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold the result if the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation process is taking up an unusual amount of CPU or memory usage on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by right clicking on our taskbar and then select Task Manager. I'm going to select the process tab if it's not the default tab and we're going to go and just sort by alphabetically here or you could do reverse alphabetical search as well and we want to go ahead and locate the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation here. Now you want to open up the start menu, type in Control Panel. That's match to come back to Control Panel, go ahead and left click on that. You can also minimize out of the task manager as well and you want to set your view by either large or small icons and then select the sound option. Whatever current option you have on your playback, so whatever device you're currently using, you want to left click on that and then select properties. Select the enhancements tab. Check mark where it says disable all enhancements. And then left click on apply and okay. Once you're done with that, select okay again. And go back in the task manager and see if that lowers your memory usage for that particular process here which we can see if we go right to the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation. It's barely taking up anything. It's only about 1 megabyte of RAM and 0% CPU. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.